Okay, guys, uh, I'm back. This is going to be a weird video um, because it's not normal content that I cover. It's actually life stuff. So if you didn't catch a short live stream, if you didn't catch a live stream that got disconnected randomly, um, a tornado apparently touched down directly in front of my house. Thankfully, uh, all of us are okay. Uh, a small child did pass away down the street, and his mom's, I guess, in critical condition still freak accident or freak weather a tree fell on their house while they were sleeping it literally went from if you guys watched the less than a minute live stream i was standing on the side of my house looking to the front of my house i ended it went to tell mrs k far hey i'm going to take the car to take the kids or to pick up the kids rather uh, looked out the window saw the neighbor's tree fall on the power lines walked out the front door to get the car and uh we were blocked in the driveway with trees so I had to go run and get the kids in the middle of a tornado, basically. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a video of me covering my block of what happened. Uh, I might do another video tonight or a live stream because we, as a neighborhood, somehow got everything picked up uh, with the help of the city. Uh, so we're all, we're all good here. On to the video. Okay, so now that it's not pouring rain let's assess this again so that's the tree that's across the street from my house let me get out from this fucking tree where it's raining that's my neighbor's house that that wackadoo is currently running for exercise next to a tree that fell into my other neighbor's house and then those bullshit things fell down i guess i don't need to narrate because it's not a live stream so i'm gonna shut up now bunch of bullshit down there. It's called commitment, people. That's called commitment. If you caught my live stream, that's the stump for the gigantic dead pine tree that would have fallen into that house. It's my neighbor James. He lives at the other end of the block. He's doing exactly the same thing as me. That's blocking the end of my street. We're about to do some sort of bullshit fire department audit tree fell down over there as well and over there and right here and right there This is another crazy one that fell down. That bad boy got ripped up. Gonna do a quick lap around the neighborhood. I'm kind of mad that it fell into this tree over here. Kind of got bad over there as well. It's kind of odd, you can't really tell, but my street got hit the fucking hardest. There's a damn pine tree that just straight up said, nah, I ain't gonna live no more. Fell right across the road. That tree just decided to fall, luckily, into no one's home. I got to meet way more neighbors than I ever thought possible today because of this, so that's exciting.
Oh, all right. And we continue. Yeah, like it didn't even hit bad over here. Well, seeing as how nobody can come from this way, I'm just going to walk directly in the street. Nobody report me to the police. I'm walking in the street. Oh, I just had some trees, some branches out of the trees fall down. Nothing crazy. They, they had a tree fall down or a branch snap off. Yeah, none of these other <laughs> people really had anything happen. Kind of shitty news though. The, I think I said in my live stream, the transformer behind my house blew up. So I'm not going to have any power for like probably a day. The neighbor's three dead pine trees decided to do what dead pine trees do and fall on shit. Their garbage cans were saved. Yes, it was garbage day and my garbage cans are currently under a gigantic tree. So rest in peace garbage cans that I just bought. And I'm probably going to show this during a live stream or like a video. And the reason I keep putting it down is because there's like people and kids outside. And I'm trying not to intentionally record them. Because I'm not an asshole. I don't know if you can see this guy way down here. He's a champ. He's an older guy that's always outside just doing yard work. Doing his thing. Doesn't bother anybody and then just sits in his garage and says what's up. All the trees that I suspected would fall down are the exact trees that didn't really fall down. Can't wait to show you guys the uh, the trap that I have waiting for me at home. You can see, like nothing really down this street. Which is touching that street, nothing down that street happened. And as soon as you get on my street, everything just kind of shit hits the fan. Gonna take you through some neighborhood history here for a second. This corner house out, that Jeep just realized, oh fuck, I can't go this way. Yeah, so that corner house right there, maybe I'll be able to show it. They had a giant tree fall on their fence the last giant storm we had and they had to replace like their whole fence. That fence right there is all new because a fucking tree fell on it. He also has chickens during the summertime which my kids enjoy. my street which apparently got hit by everything so their fence got taken out their little jungle gym playground thing for their kids got taken out kind of feel bad for these people they just had a kid not long ago 
tree fell on their house. Yeah, they had two trees. Oh, damn. Three trees fall down. My friend James broke his window. And another tree. But somehow this neighbor managed to keep all of the shingles on top of their house, which is slightly impressive. Tree got busted up back there. I gotta assume their fence is toast. This tree's toast. Yeah. Walking the road now. Yeah, I literally right in front of my house got tore up. I'm trying to snipe this tree without getting a kid in the picture. Yeah, that tree fucking got ripped up out the ground. That tree got ripped up out the ground. It's my neighbor's house. His branches and his tree gotta climb over this one. There's a car under there somewhere. Car. It's hiding. It's camouflaged. This is the, the cool trap I was telling you guys about. So, this is my yard. This is my neighbor's yard. Turns out that's not a tree. That's a branch that just happened to be leaning and is now stuck in the ground. And this is my driveway. Good times.